Hello everybody, this is Glockman4519. Welcome back to another ROM overview. This one here is AOS IP, and this is the latest rendition of that ROM. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is 4.0 uh, Marshmallow. Uh, we'll go to About Device, um, and this is obviously for the Nexus 6. Uh, let me see if it has, yeah, uh, this is version 4.0 uh, Shamu. Uh, that, that is the AOS IP build. Uh, I am running Hell's Core on this. Um, the kernel that comes with it uh, is supportive of multi-ROM and uh, does not force encrypt. So you do not need to flash any kernel at all. You need the ROM, gapps, and reboot uh, for this ROM to work. I'm running Hell's Core uh, because uh, the kernel that comes with this does not have the uh, quick charge for the battery, um, you know, stuff like that, stuff that I have come to depend on, um, and it just doesn't have it, uh, but if you are not one that, uh, need those features, um, the kernel that comes with this ROM is perfectly fine, just to get that out of the way. Uh, again, this is AOS IP's latest build, it just came out, uh, early this morning, um, I've flashed it, ran it for oh about four hours now, uh, and figured it was good enough. It is definitely no issues at all, uh, so I figured I'd get this video done. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do things a little bit different this time. I'm going to go right on up into the owl's nest, uh, because this is what most of the people out there want to see. Uh, we're going to go into the status bar options. Um, if you look under your status bar, the first option up is clock, and this is where you're going to be able to set up everything about your clock. Clock, date, um, AM, PM, all that. You can have it or not have it. Uh, fix the color of it if you want. Uh, then if you swipe to the right, these are your battery settings. Uh, you can, of course, uh, choose to hide it as I am doing uh, because I'm running the 3-minute mod. This is one of the few ROMs out. Uh, I can name three of them right off the top of my head. Uh, this one, Dirty Unicorn, and um, the Pure Nexus project that all you have to do is download the 3-minute settings from the Play Store, and as soon as it installs, it's working. Uh, so, kudos to the developer on that. Um, and, of course, you have your battery bar settings. Uh, and then if we go back, and whoops... And we swipe to the right again. Uh, these are going to be your icon colors uh, for your status bar. Uh, you can set up the colors uh, however, however you want them. Um, and if you have a theme, uh, for some reason, AOS IP, if you do not set a color and leave it white, even if your theme has a color in it, uh, it's going to be white. So my suggestion is uh, if you want them colored, uh, don't count on your theme. Just go ahead and color it the color you want. Uh, and then go ahead and apply your theme. Uh, same goes for the status, or same goes for your nav bar, unless your nav bar has icons, such as the ones I'm running here. Uh, if your status bar or your nav bar has icons, you don't have to worry about the color. The icons will work either way. Swipe to the right, we get into your carrier label. Uh, you can choose to show it or not show it, uh, whether you want it on a lock screen or uh, in the status bar. Um, you know, that's up to you. You can color it. Uh, swipe to right again. You get your network trafficking. Uh, this is where you can have show uh, data coming in or data going out or going in and coming out or not showing at all. Uh, that's your choice. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you can color that as well. No. All right. Uh, and swipe to the right, last but not least, is your AOS IP logo, which I think this is really cool because this is the only ROM that I know of uh, no, actually, I think um, Resurrection Remix is another one uh, that gives you two choices uh, for AOS IP logo. Uh, they have their main logo, uh, which I have showing on my far left, uh, and then you have the uh, logo, then you have the uh, custom logos, uh, which these are the custom logos that let you choose from. And uh, as you can see, I have the, uh, the K-H-L-O-E, uh, I mean, you could change that to the Chronic 10 if you wanted, and you notice how that changed. Uh, you could go with your Chronic Eyes. Uh, I kind of like the, uh, the one on the bottom. Uh, so those are the two that I'm going with. Uh, you can go with one if you want, or you can go with none. That's the nice thing about Android. 
All right, let's go back, and we're going to get into your quick settings. Uh, these are going to be where you can set up your tiles, uh, brightness slider. Um, you know, you, you show your four rows for tile if you want to do that, large first row, you know, vibration strength, all that. Uh, if you go into your tiles, um, I will show you the tiles that I have set up right now. And as always, I will show you the tiles that I did not choose from, so you can get an idea of what all comes with this ROM, which this ROM, like the other three I mentioned, or four, um has quite a selection to choose from, which I like. And I love the AOSP uh, uh, quick long, the quick pull-down. I just love it. Um, I like the way it's all in one big row, and you don't have to keep swiping to the right to get to the other options. Uh, now, if we swipe to the right on here, uh, this is going to be your status bar area settings. Uh, you can have weather showing. This is where you're going to have your contextual header. Uh, all of that, this is where you're going to do that at. And right now, I do have it set up with the contextual header. I also have with my with the weather showing. So you're going to see my little icon in the lower right-hand corner. Uh, on the left, you're going to see the time, the date, uh, and, of course, the other settings, battery settings, and that at the very top. Uh, those are all um, configurable. You can, through this little, uh, uh, little corner of your world right here on, you know, under status bar area, that's where you're going to set that all up at. Next up, of course, are your nav bar options. Uh, you can either uh, you can actually click to not show it at all uh, and use you know pie settings or whatever. Uh, I myself like uh, my nav bars and that is what I use. Um, you have your nav bar, your navigation mode. Uh, again, these are the, the you have fling gestures. Uh, if you want, if you are one of those that use that, it is in here. Uh, smart bar settings. Um, these are all your smart bar settings. If you guys are using those uh, your fling settings oh you actually have to have it set to fling in order to bring up the settings uh, and then of course you have your advanced uh, which is the pulse um, and this is I, I'm pretty sure it's when you're playing music correct me if I'm long if I'm wrong but when you're playing music you have this set up and it's kind of like a little music visualizer at the bottom uh, but of course I do not play music I'm not really into that. Uh, I listen to music in my Mustang. Uh, it's pretty much the only time I listen to music. And, of course, those are your bar height and bar width settings. Swipe to the right. Uh, here are your extra options for your nav bar. You can kill app back button. Uh, your double tap to sleep on the nav bar. And, of course, your left hand mode if you so choose to use that option. Next up are your hardware buttons, which are going to be your power button, your volume button. Uh, first up is your power button. You have your advanced power menu. Um, again, I love uh, the fact that this gives you a lot of options on here. Way more than Sonogen Mod or a CM ROM right now. Uh, swipe, oops, if we go back and then swipe to the right. These are your volume key setups. Uh, for those of you that listen to music, uh, you're going to want to set this up. Uh, if you, you get your skip controls and all that. Uh, next we have up are our recents screen um, you, this first screen is just to set up your slim recents if you are one that likes that Kit Kat look uh, where your recents are all over to one side of the screen uh, then you'll want to set this up um, but if you like the standard recent settings in March and lollipop and marshmallow with the whole Rolo Rolodex type deal uh, you're gonna want to use this setting uh, right now I have mine set at the full screen recents uh, I disabled my search bar I don't use it and I do have my memory bar uh, showing uh, so I can see what kind of RAM usage I'm using right now. Uh, and then, of course, you have your clear all button and then your clear all button location. These are the choices they give you for that, for your location. A lot of, a lot of times you'll see a ROM. They only give you uh, either top, right, or center, um, or bottom, right, and center. This one gives you all six locations. Uh, just to give you an idea of what that looks like. Uh, this is the Rolodex full screen. Uh, it goes all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom. As you can see, that bar at the very top is my RAM. Uh, it says right now my free RAM is 1.711 1. 1. megabytes, or 1,711 megabytes, so that's 1.7 gig. Uh, and as you can see, my multi-window feature is enabled. Uh, that's that little checkered square right over here. 
Now if I pull up from the bottom, that's going to give me my nav bar. I can go back. I'm going to go back into settings. I could have just used <laughs> that to get there, but we'll go back in the Owl's Nest. Uh, next up is the lock screen settings. Uh, this is going to be where you set up all of your weather settings on this. Again, uh, this is kind of like Resurrection Remix. Uh, it's just loaded with color settings on here, and I love that. Uh, AOS IP has become, uh, has come, uh, or grown to become one of my favorite ROMs, uh, just because of all the custom settings. Um, I do have a couple other favorites. I told you guys before, I have about four or five that I always have on my uh, system, um, and that th I'm not going to tell you that this one is my favorite absolute or that one's my favorite absolute. Uh, I just don't think that's fair to the other developers. Uh, I do have my picks, though, um, and there are features in each one of them that I just love. So that's why, you know, and to be honest with you, I love all of the builds out there. That's why I flash them. Uh, next over, of course, your lock screen shortcuts. You have your center, your bottom, uh, double tap to sleep in the lock screen, swipe to the right. Uh, you have your lock screen um, uh, wallpaper set up. Uh, and then, of course, at the bottom there, you can return to default uh, if you, you know, screw something up or just don't like what you did. Uh, then, on the very far right, uh, you have your lock screen colors. And let me tell you, there are a ton of colors. And yes, I went crazy with it. So just to show you how that looks, now I don't have any shortcuts set up or you would actually see more color on here. Um, as you can see right now, my phone uh, at the very bottom uh, left is purple. And just like the colors, I have it set up. Uh, now if I would have some middle... Uh, some locks or some shortcuts set up in the middle. They would have been colored as I have them here. Uh, but that, of course, is set up over here under your shortcuts. You would go for your uh, bottom, and then of course your center, and then you would just pick something and put it on there. All right, now here comes the advanced options. This is going to be where you get your animations, your uh, you know your your scroll circle bar, uh, your apps uh, sidebar, all that uh, app ops, uh, extended desktop, your just uh, your gesture anywhere feature, uh, and of course uh, this is going to be where you turn on or off your multi window. That is why I did not go go directly into um, the developer options because there really isn't anything in the developer options uh, that a lot of you like to see uh, most. Of us like to see that advanced reboot uh, the multi window the kill app last button we want to make sure that you know we know where they're at well they're all in these custom settings uh, or the owl's nest <laughs> sorry about that uh, and then of course at the very bottom you have your pie control if you guys use that uh, here it is um, I haven't tried it uh, so I can't tell you whether or not it does work um, I may play around with it later tonight uh, and, you know, post a comment in here and let you guys know what I found out. But uh, Pi, I just don't use it. And last but not least, of course, is your Super Sue settings. And this ROM comes with 252 out of the gate. Um, I do not update past 252. Uh, I don't like systemless route. Um, it just, this is the route I like. Um, I, I, I think it sucks that Android is headed in the direction that they're headed. Um... It's just, it, it looks like it's trying to take too much away from us. I could be wrong. Uh, I've been wrong before, um, but I kind of like it this way. Uh, and I will stick with 252 as long as I can. Um, and, what I'm, you know, that's about it. Uh, last but not least, I do want to go into themes and show you the theme I'm running. Um, I am running, uh, I, I probably forgot. I'm running Futuristic right now. Uh, and on the Futuristic, the only... Uh, things I'm running out of that is the status bar and the style. Uh, everything else I've kind of got split out. Uh, my nav bar is shadows. Um, I'll show you that. Uh, this is the one that uh, I'm using for my nav bar. Um, status bar, the icons would look about the same if I picked that. Um, and then, of course, for uh, my fonts, I think I'm using, as a matter of fact, I know I'm using um, Blue Hydra. Yes, I've, I'm using Blue Hydra for my fonts. Um, and, of course, my boot animation. Uh, you know, I'm, I think I forgot. <laughs> it's got so many choices. 
Uh, boot animation. Oh, I'm running blue tint for my blue animation. Or my boot animation. I just think it's really cool. Wait, check this out. Is that awesome or what? So that's the boot animation I'm using. Um, so, you know, there it is. Uh, quickly, um, I will go down and show you guys, uh, let's see here, um, display, uh, just so you guys can see what's where, uh, that is what we have for display, uh, if I scroll down through here, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's got a lot of, uh, uh a little more features than normal, but, you know, most of the custom features are going to be in the Owl's Nest, uh, sound and notifications, same way. Uh, you have just your standard settings. Uh, you can, you know, pick and choose your um, what you want for your notification sound uh, and that. And, of course, here are your other sounds. Uh, then you have your cast, uh, you know, uh, your battery light, uh, notification light settings are all in here. This is going to be where you're going to set that up at. Uh, revert audio ducting. Uh, I forgot to turn that on. I actually, or... Um, Prevent, yeah, prevent. Sorry, guys, I can't even see that. Um, I actually like this feature. Uh, when you get a message while watching a video, I hate it when it dims your video down so you can't hear it. Um, it just screws with you. Uh, this stops that feature. Uh, then, of course, you have your heads up. Uh, and then last but not least on the bottom is your notification access and your do not disturb. Uh, this is not a CM-based ROM, so I don't think we have any privacy settings in this. Um... Here's your security settings. Now, it does have. Uh, it has your block caller list, uh, so you do have that. Um, I don't think that the privacy settings in this are like the Cyanogen mod. I think they have the best of all the privacy settings. Uh, but um, I don't use them anyways, so uh, but that is what is in the security And I think that's about it. You have your language and input. Uh, I will, I'll run down through the developer options just so you guys can see. Uh, I did not miss anything in here. Uh, your advanced reboot is not in here. Uh, you do need to tick on your... Uh, actually, no, you don't. Uh, USB debugging is um, uh, automatically on, uh, so you don't have to do that. Uh, I do like to turn on my, uh, my bug report shortcut. And I also like, uh, if I can find it here... Um, and I can't find it now. But anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, all your animations and that are over, again, in the Owl's Nest. Um, actually, no, there they are. They're there, too. Isn't that weird? Two different places. Anyways. But that's it, guys. Uh, so much for the, uh, update. Uh, I think they did a good job with it, actually. I noticed a couple small uh, a couple small things that were changed, uh, and it definitely is for the better. Now I did have an issue with my clock uh, coloring right off the bat, but I think that was my fault. Um, so I what I did was I basically just um, uh, went back in, wiped everything again. Um, and when I when I do a ROM, I do not do a dirty flash. Uh, I actually um, uh, wipe system, Dalvik cache uh, data, all of it, and start from scratch. Uh, I think it was uh, just something or a way that I flashed it. Uh, when I reflashed it the second time, uh, instead of letting Google, uh, you know, um, back up and uh, re-download all my apps, I did that myself. And I set up my, uh, my settings before I uh, even did that. And I didn't have a problem with it. So uh, there you have it. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, again, I want to thank all my subscribers. Uh, and I will see you guys on the next one.